Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of two electric lighters by K-I-V-O-R-S. They sell on Amazon for under 35 bucks, uh, which is a fair price to pay for rechargeable lighters. You can use a micro USB to recharge it again. What makes this kind of unique is it has this cross arc design that reminds me almost of laser beams. And again, it's a windproof lighter. So unlike traditional you know, oil-based lighters, if, you have, uh, if you're using it outdoors, the wind is uh, blowing in your face. Uh, the flames itself is going to flow towards that direction, which isn't going to be the easiest to use. Let's say if you're lighting a candle or something. So this is going to be something that helps you with that. Fairly easy to carry around. They sell it in a number of different uh, models as well as designs, which are all fairly attractive. And again, we have two to share today. So this one is the KV05 first. It's a black color lighter. You can see on the front here, they, all made are, they are made out of glass as well as aluminum. So good construction quality. In addition, there is the aforementioned micro USB cable for charging. It takes about two hours to completely charge. Afterwards, it uh, can be used for, I would say, roughly um, a few months before you need to recharge again with a sporadic usage in between. So here is this one. The other one here is the KV05 as, again, but it's uh, a slightly different color scheme on the front. So this one has a brush aluminum look. Um, as far as pricing goes, this one is uh, slightly cheaper by, by about uh, $3. This one is a bit more expensive, but uh, all in all, they all have a pretty eye-catching look. So taking a look at this, we can see that there is a bit of uh, sub-branding going on. It says Tiger on the front since 1992. That is a lighter company. And the bottom also features some basic info, uh, including a micro USB cable for charging. The entire unit is made out of a solid chunk of aluminum, so it does feel extremely solid in the hand. And you can see the top also features a cap, which you can pop off like so at an angle and then pop on the key there to turn on the lighting functionality. It does come fully charged uh, when you take it out of the box, which is nice to see. Something I'm going to quickly note about these electric lighters, however, is that although they're very cool, the tips do get slightly dirty after you use it for you know, a few months, I'd say. So you do have to clean it off. Um, so it's not something that's uh, completely uh, clean 100% of the time and you know it doesn't have any wind blowing through at all, uh, but it does work fairly well and the overall effect is also quite uh, enticing and, and cool looking. We'll show you that in a moment. Uh, this next one here, again, made out of metal, but it has a slightly different kind of worn look to it, made out of chrome. The edges are rounded. You still have, still have access to the same charging port. There isn't the sub-branding by Tiger, so this is just the Amazon seller's name, but the side also features the control for the power on-off switch. Slightly different placement. This one, I believe, you tap and hold to continuously turn on the lighting function, and then you release it, and it automatically stops. Whereas this one, uh, once you tap on the power key for a few seconds, it stays on the entire time until you physically turn the knob and also close the lid and then it stops. So it's slightly different in terms of the mechanisms of how they both work. So taking a quick look at uh, functionality now, I'm going to turn this on. I also have a candle over here that I'm going to try using and lighting. Of course, you can use anything uh, from birthday candles to cigarettes, anything that you would want to use with a physical lighter. So tapping on this again, you can see that this is what it looks like. There is a bit of a high-pitched sound that comes on. It looks slightly purple on camera, but in person, it's a bit more blue. Uh, and it's essentially very strong kind of electric lasers going through uh, in this diagonal look that creates and casts uh, this overall, you know, how it actually lights the things on fire. Um, so it is fairly safe, I, I guess, because the port is very small. You can't accidentally fit your thing finger in there unless you have a very small fingers, but still something to be cautious of. This one is a bit more safe, I feel like, because once you release the handle, it autom automatically stops. Whereas uh, this one, I'll show you this now, once you tap on the key on the front there, it stays on all the time. So if you want to turn off, you can see that I have to kind of close the lid and then afterwards it's off. So slightly different. Um, I'm going to try blowing on this a little bit to do a quick demo of whether or not wind affects it. It's supposedly not supposed to. So there we go. So as you can see there, a tiny bit of interference, but really not bad and better than a flame. And that cross arc is uh, really something unique and eye catching, a conversation starter. So I'm going to try lighting this candle next, see how easy it is to light it. There we go. So as you saw there, it's extremely easy and extremely fast. Uh, so unlike a traditional lighter, it seems to do a far better job at igniting flames. So um, high voltage there. And again, once you're done, you can always charge these up and you're ready to go again. So it is fairly uh, energy efficient. And something good about electric lighters is because they don't have any liquid parts, they can still technically be you know, transported a bit more easily uh, if you're traveling around since there's no extra liquid. So that's something else to consider. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this uh, video first look and a quick review and demo of the KIVORS uh, KV05 series of electric cross arc laser lighters.